Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another Trailmakers video, and today we're going to be taking a bit of a break from building historical flying vehicles. I literally just built one of those. <laughs> and building a fictional land vehicle, which is actually fairly primitive, but it might not be so primitive in a video game. So today guys, I want to try building the Flintstones car. Now, the easy part is obviously going to be the car itself. The more challenging part will be, well, how we power the car. I obviously want the car to be powered powered by, well, feet running along the ground. <laughs> so uh, this will definitely be a very interesting challenge. I want to see if I can make it happen and hopefully we're successful. Now, I do have one major question about this whole Flintstones mobile and it's how in the world do they steer the darn thing? It's literally like, it's got two wheels, right? Front and back, as wide as the car itself, like a road roller. And there's no steering. Like, I just, I just don't understand. I mean, allegedly they're made out of stone. You would think that's what they're made of. And that, that would be a lot of weight to, you know, just push around with, uh, with pure human muscle. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Those guys must have been pretty jacked. But in any case, guys, I'm going to see if I can figure out a steering system as well. I don't know if I'm going to do it with hinges or if I'm going to try and do it with feet. But let's just start building and see where we get. Half the time, I usually have no clue how I'm actually going to build the thing that I'm setting out to build. So it's going to be as much of a surprise for me, guys, as it will be for you. <laughs> I really wanted to use the round weights here for the wheels, but I think they're just too small. They're unfortunately just, just way too small. We're not gonna get any traction with them. So we need something big like these, uh, well, these four by four ones. And honestly, I wish we had an even bigger one so I could just really build this thing, you know? But uh, I mean, short of that, like there's, there's monster truck wheels, you know, which are pretty big. I think these ones are four by four or are they slightly bigger? Oh yeah, they are bigger. Actually, that might be okay. Just this lined up a bunch. But the thing is like, I want it to look like one solid roller, you know, something like that. Whereas you're not really going to get that with a tire. You're always going to have a black tire, but we'll see if this is an issue. We can always make it bigger with the monster truck wheels. That is. One thing I didn't actually account for is the width of the sail, because I do want to have a sail as a roof in the middle here. So I might have to make some adjustments, but that's okay. It's just a matter of uh, extending or widening our wheels here. <laughs> I actually got it spot on, guys. That's funny. There is supposed to be a cloth piece in the back here as well, but it's actually got a hole in it because it's like a rear view window. I can't do that with a sail, so I'm, I just don't know how to really replicate that. I'll think about that one. Boom, check it out guys. <laughs> Got a rear window now, excellent. Totally just killing time painting this thing because I'm trying to figure out how to actually make the walking mechanism now. <laughs> That's okay, we're making this thing look cool, you know? I'm really excited about this. It's actually funny, I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, man, the legs are gonna be so short. And then I'm looking at the cartoon characters and I'm like, man, their legs are so short. <laughs> so I actually guess it works out. But now is the task of building the whole walking mechanism. And uh, I guess here we go, guys, it's all or nothing. Also, one other thing I wanna mention, it's kind of weird because in some parts of the cartoon, the same car has both only two seats and all four seats. So 
I don't understand what's going on there. Obviously, it's a cartoon. It's not supposed to make a whole lot of sense. Well, I guess we'll see how big the mechanism is. If I can fit four of them in there, that'd be great, but we'll start with two. It's like baby's first steps. <laughs> this is as far as I've gotten so far, guys. This is a tough one. I don't have a whole lot of space to work with. Uh, it's definitely too ambitious to try and have four of these mechanisms. I think I do have to try something else though, because this is just, this is just not working out. I've got three hinges. I've got one servo. It's kind of creating like a walking motion, you know, but I wonder what would happen if I, uh, if I duplicate this whole mechanism. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, so about that. <laughs> oh, it's struggling hard, man. It's struggling hard. Maybe I should do this on flat ground as well. Let's just quickly save this thing, and I'm gonna do this on flat ground. Not sure how much that helps me. <laughs> uh, we're turning real well, though. It's so hard to make a mechanism that's small enough that fits in this whole area. <laughs> it's not having a good time. There is one thing that I could try instead of this mechanism. I'm gonna give it a go. Might be getting somewhere, guys. We might be getting somewhere. I'm using the legendary con gaming walking method with pistons. And, uh, I mean, we're moving forward. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're getting somewhere, though. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I double up on this whole mechanism. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're not going much faster, guys. Oh, I totally just figured out how they steer these things in the cartoon. Helicopter engines. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this is gonna take a while. This This will take a while to get anywhere. Let's put it that way. Oh, man. I don't know if this is as good as it's gonna get, guys. I am kind of lifting it up. I mean, that could that's one thing that I could still try and work on. But I don't even know if I could really make it faster without, like, just making things more chaotic, you know? It is nice that this mechanism is kind of nice and compact, but I feel like whatever walker we make is just, it's gonna be weird. Because there isn't even really, like, good friction between the regular pieces and the ground, you know? Like, it's, it's not like we have any rubber components that we can use. Oh, not enough. Not enough duration. Oh, now it's enough. <laughs> we're actually kind of moving forward a little bit better like that. I mean, we're still not moving forward very well, but we're moving forward better. We're moving forward a lot better. I mean, I can try speeding it up. I'll try speeding it up for the sake of the video, but I just think this is as good as it's really going to get. That's actually not bad. I sped them up a bit and it's not bad at all. At the risk of making it worse, I'm going to try and amp up the speeds again. The only thing I wish is that I could control the pistons a little better. I wish I had more control over them is what I'm trying to say. Because when you speed them up, you're also effectively changing uh, how long it takes them to fully extend. And then you have to play with the duration because I don't need them to fully extend because otherwise they'll just be kind of lifting the whole thing off the ground. Also, we're not going anywhere anymore. We're like stuck on a rock here. Come on, man. Come on. I almost got my sledgehammer out thinking we're in scrap mechanic. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we're kind of stuck. There you go. You can make it over to rocks, buddy. You can do it. Perfect. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's already kind of lifting it up too much, so I don't think uh, lowering the pistons is going to help more with getting over stuff. But this is... Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> I do have servos on this thing. I could just I could just hook up the servos, but I'm being stubborn. What rock is it stuck on now? There's got to be a rock somewhere. I wonder if the older version actually worked better. I'm going to save this as a 
different one, whatever, sure. And then I'm gonna try this one again. Let's see if this one actually worked better. It was slower, but it might work better. We'll see. Let's see how far this guy goes. Oh, is it making it over? It's, it, it might have made it over some rocks there. I'm actually curious to place a second one next to it and see what the deal is, you know? I mean, this guy is definitely faster. This one's stuck, though. What are we stuck on? Like a little rock? Probably up like little rocks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Both of them did. Both of them did. Oh, my goodness. This is embarrassing. I mean, it's a good thing in the Flintstones universe that you only ever travel on drag strips, right? Perfectly flat surfaces. So we're good. We're good. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it out of sync? I think it goes out of sync ever so slightly, guys, because it doesn't actually... Let me, uh, let me see what's going on here. It would also be nice to have some suspension on these legs, because then I would hopefully actually be able to deal with situations like this, where it's on a slight elevation, and it just can't can't really go anywhere. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, it's going, and it doesn't look like it's going out of, uh, out of sync this time. As I say that. Nope, we're good. We're still good. We're still good. Man, this thing is so slow, but that's okay. Okay, guys. Well, I'm not actually done building this thing, so I'm going to get back to it, and then I'll, I'll see you when it's done. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Here is my Flintstone mobile. I am super happy with it, actually. It did turn out, you know, not as great as I expected, but also at the same time, just better than I expected. I don't know what it is, but this thing makes me happy. Let's go into, uh, let's go into this camera mode here, so I don't have the zappy thing connecting to it all the time. That looks kind of funny. That looks pretty funny. <laughs> it is sparking a lot because I added a bunch of stuff to it, but you know what? Say la vie. Say la vie. I got Barney in there. I got Fred in here. And they're... They're high-centered. They're high-centered. <laughs> Are they actually making it? Are they making it? Oh, they made it over! Oh, don't break. Don't break. <laughs> oh, man. I almost want to, like, set the servos to drive very, very slowly, you know? Alrighty, guys. I couldn't really get the servos to move for some reason. I'm not sure why... Maybe I need to use helicopter engines. I didn't really feel like messing around with it too much more because to be honest, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it is now. I did make like a turning type deal. So uh, if you walk past that sensor, it's going to turn uh, the whole creation the opposite direction, which is kind of cool. Sorry, towards the opposite side, like so. If you want to like follow along and steer it. But I mean, this is it guys, you know? I think this is probably as good as I'm going to get it in this episode. If you guys have any ideas on how to make this walk better, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Or if you think that this is as good as it gets simply because of, you know, the friction that we have available to us between components and uh, just, well, yeah, oh boy, oh boy. Guys, move forward. Move forward, what's going on? It's like, it's out of whack again? Something has to be done about the timing, guys. Because it starts off fine, but then it's just like, it, I don't know, it stops. It stops working halfway through. So the timing is okay right now, but I guess something with the timing makes it go out of whack eventually. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but their heads are bobbing. <laughs> They're listening to what is love. <laughs> yeah, something happens, guys. It just, it stops moving. It just, it stops moving, you know? Very disappointed in myself. 
I just really wish I had more control over the pistons, the correlation between the speed and the duration, and also just being able to control, you know, the pause at different endpoints individually, you know? Like, I don't necessarily need it to wait at certain points when it's waiting, but I kind of have to because the settings apply to both the extension stroke and the compression stroke of the pistons. But with that said, guys, I am pretty darn happy with how this turned out. I mean, it looks pretty cool, <laughs> you know? Let's put it that way. It looks pretty cool. It looks like the Flintstone car. And in the last video, you guys told me that I should upload even my failed creations. Even though I don't think this is a full failure, uh, it could definitely be better. I just, I don't know how to do it right now. I think I need a bit of a break from it. And maybe I'll come back and figure it out. And hey, maybe you guys will have some awesome ideas as to how to make this thing work better. I mean, as far as leg mechanisms go, this is as simple as it gets, you know? I think as far as leg mechanisms go, we're good. I think my timing is just bad, and I think the whole, like, friction and sparking between parts is just not helping us either. But in any case, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about this Flintstone car. I'm really happy with it. I'd love to hear about what you think. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like down below. It helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, subscribe for more awesome content. Content, and I will see you in the next video. Alrighty guys, I know I'm notorious for these, but this is the video after the video, and I actually think I figured out why the whole thing was sparking. I had the pistons interfering with some blocks that, well, were essentially my, I guess my hips? I don't know what you want to call it. And it actually works a lot better now, and it goes for much, much longer, so I don't actually think my timing is all that bad. I still think my timing could use some work. But I do think it's a lot, lot better now. I mean, it moves, it moves, it goes, it goes forward. You no, know? not the, not the fastest mode of transportation. I'm not sure how Fred Flintstone managed to get this thing up to like 60 kilometers an hour. But <laughs> regardless, guys, see, it does kind of start hiccuping here, but or, or not. I don't know. Well, before it breaks again, guys, and it broke, and it broke. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about how I could potentially fix this and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!